Are we filming? I think I think we are. Good. If this series intends to be successful in helping you become a better artist, then I need to provide you with a definition that reflects the meaning, the values, and the goals of what I mean by that. A lot of people consider an artist to be someone who engages in activities such as playing or painting or writing. For me, being an artist is more about how you do things instead of what you do. It's the same way I think about entrepreneurship. It's not just about how you employ yourself. It's a mindset. It's a way of living and thinking and executing. It's how you view the world and how you execute within the realms of creativity and practicality. While I don't think it's necessary for one to define themselves as an artist, thinking about it can help you solidify your own artistic constitution, why you do what you do, how, and furthermore, what do you aim to achieve with your art? The word artist has gone through its own evolution and still continues to do so. In ancient Greece and Rome, apparently they had no specific word for it. They had words to describe master of craft, but that was sort of more connected to manual labor than to anything that intended to achieve something higher, or sorry, greater intellectually. This continued to the Middle Ages, and it was only in the 16th century that we actually made a formal difference between fine arts, which was sort of thought to be more intellectually engaging, and applied arts, which was more about making stuff. So rather than looking back in history for a definition for the word, we can look back and see that this is something living, it's something that's developing. So the artists of today are the ones who are actually defining and shaping what it means to be one. It seems that we slowly discovered a need for the word because we grew to appreciate some aspect of the work that we felt wasn't being recognized. Even if it initially was just about creating a pretty object, the increasing complexity of what you can pour into something forces the concept of beauty to be developed further. So in a way, we are just getting better and better at the skill of recognizing beauty in increasingly complex and impressive ways. An artist is someone who senses things others initially miss, and they see a need to reveal and give form uh, to those discoverings and share them with others by using their creativity, imagination, and skill. A definition by Kurt Vonnegut kind of says the same thing, that an artist is the canary bird in the cage which we take down into the coal mine to detect if there's poisonous gas in the air. So they faint first, they alarm us, they let us know something is wrong. Robert Frost said, to me the thing that art does for life is to clean it, to strip it to form. And that again says kind of the same thing. It's meant to reveal something we're not paying attention to, something we've forgotten, how things actually are, or something we haven't thought about. Picasso said, we all know that art is not truth. Art is a lie that makes us realize truth. I think these sort of perspectives are something we've partially forgotten. And I think it's a big contributor to the fact that artists aren't regarded so highly in our culture anymore. They used to stand for something. They used to speak about things that were wrong things that we were supposed to pay <laughs> attention to. We focused too much on the external, the looks, the money, the fame, 
And that's not art. That's entertainment. We have a lot of great artists today, but not enough of them compared to the volume of entertainment. And I get it. Being a great artist is difficult. You need to understand the world. You need to understand human behavior and then find a creative, ingenious way of talking about it in the form of art that's undeniably captivating and skillfully executed. A way that speaks to our hearts and minds. During the Middle Ages, an artist was thought to be someone of distinction, not only because of their skill, but because of their mentality of always striving for excellence. This goes back to my point of how you do things being more important than what it is you do. They were thought of as people who could be trusted to stand for excellence, not only in their craft, but also in life. It's not only about you expressing yourself. It's also about taking responsibility of what you do and setting an example. Most people don't want to face the bad or even sometimes the good stuff. We're afraid of expressing the things that we're feeling. An artist is someone who challenges themselves on a constant basis. They think about, they talk about, and they give form to their demons and their blessings. They face life head on. And that's difficult. That takes a lot of courage. So whatever it is that you find beauty or artistry in, I hope these videos will help you become better at it. Finished.